on already. He did seven months ago on TV show. He saw my underwear already. That's to be <laughs> enough. <laughs> Listen, when did you meet Anton, or how did you meet Anton? This is really funny. Anton was one of the first people I met in New York City. I met in Axis Candy about a month. And he asked me to come to Chelsea with him and a bunch of friends, and he, he took my first photograph of me. Ooh. He picked me a mouse. I had that long that Eugene cut off, and I had a little red hat, and he took my first photograph of He's going to take a lot of dress of you. He takes great pictures. I love that one of you know you can buy that. And Todd and his book like I'm not even thinking. Yeah, I, mean, I think they're going to be going to set in Rolling Stone now. Yeah, he's going to take that. That would be a good one for Rolling Stone. But it's only a Rolling Stone a bit. Now I don't know you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what do you work in magazine? I read them all. That's one thing that Todd always yells at me for, for spinning the thing. You know, oh, I forgot interview. Oh, of course I read interview. Yeah, I read interview. I used to like Interview Better, but uh, I read it. <laughs> <laughs> I used to like Interview Better, too, but I still write for it. Uh, I don't mind Interview anyway, I guess. I thought Glenn O'Brien was excellent. I thought he was the best. Glenn O'Brien, is a v he, he, he added things to the magazine. He was very good. I think he's going to be adding things to Rolling Stone, too, so that... Uh, he's already turned random notes into the go uh, to a gossip column. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah, you know, they they uh, make all the people's names that they use in big print now, like they used to, in, in, how, you know how Interview does right. it? Right, they've turned random notes into more of a gossip column. No, I don't mind Interview now. It's all right. I no, I, I think it's good too, but it's obviously taking a new direction and uh, I'm in... More of a, it's, it's becoming more um, fashionable, if you know what I mean. It's, not, it's, it's much straighter than it used to be. Don't you think? Yeah, I do think so, and I, I think that's one of the reasons that Anton and I are sort of going to do sort of like a video magazine. You want some vodka? Uh, no, I don't drink Sorry. vodka. <laughs> if you had some apple juice, I'd drink that. Oh, I don't believe you, Corey. I've seen you drink vodka. Oh, <laughs> you've never seen me drink vodka. Maybe oh, champagne. I have. I have seen you drink vodka. No oh, champagne? Champagne. Well, I've seen you drink champagne. So what else, Cor? Well, I don't know. What would you like to tell all those people out there that are sort of going to be seeing more and more of you, so to speak, in the months to come? What, you know, watch out, here comes BB. Be my friends. <laughs> I hope I'll still have all my girlfriends when it's all over. You well, know how girls are. You know how girls are. I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, mixed up. Yeah. Well, I know that you're going to be a superstar. And do you think that'll change you as a person at all? Are you worried about that? Now that's a question that everybody gets asked. And what does everybody say? No, I'll always be the same. Well, it's going to change me. How is it going to change you? <laughs> it's going to change me. <laughs> How? I'm going to be a hell of a lot more independent. Meaning? Well, that's, what, that's my main goal, is to be more... In, I'm a very... I'm an extremely independent person. But it's... I'm Waking at, up the ice? I'm, <laughs> I'm at a point now where... I need more uh, financial independence. I don't like having to p depend on somebody else. It makes me feel really guilty, if you know what I mean. I want to be able to give to, to the people what they give me. You know what I mean? like, Sounds Todd, nice. Todd takes extremely good care of me. He's so good to me, and I, I want to be able to go out and buy him things. I want to be able to pay for his plane fare to Los Angeles or England or someplace for a change. Sounds nice. I want to be able to spoil him a little bit, too. That sounds nice. Well, what about your friends like me? Well, that's my... The first thing I'm going to do... The first thing I'm going to do when I make my $6,000 for my Playboy Snurfle, I'm going to take all my friends out to dinner. Oh, where, where? I don't know. Where do you want to go? Oh, I don't know. I guess we'll go to the best place in town. But we can't have more than 10 people. That's the only thing. Well, the list's up to you. Oh, well, you know who's going to be on the list, honey. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. So... What? Why haven't you ever done uh, a television show? Uh, what do you mean? Like, um, you know, TV modeling. Uh, well, simply because I haven't been represented or presented to the right clients yet. But that's all happening now. Would you do a no. Linda Lovelace type of thing? Never. <laughs> that woman repulses me. What about that? What about the girl that did the Green Door that was on the cover I don't of? Uh, like any of that? I think porn. I don't like hard, hardcore pornography because I just don't think it's necessary. The only reason why I don't think hardcore pornography is necessary is because it exists in everyday, everybody's everyday life in their private home. What those people are doing on, on film, don't you live like that when you're alone in your home with somebody you like being alone with? 
all the time. Of course, and what is the point? I mean, I, I personally don't see the point in pornography to that extent. Now, Last Tango, Last Tango was good pornography. <laughs> good <laughs> pornography. And you can see why the courts have trouble. Well, I just don't think that movies like Behind the Green Door... All right. <laughs> <laughs> and Linda Lovelace type... I, I just don't... Besides, those women, are, do you really consider them exceptional beauties? Mm, just being close to you, I want to give you a little kiss. Ooh, mm. That's nice. Listen, uh, you want to impeach Richard Nixon? Do I? Do you? Well, I guess I better go. Let's see, I have to think about this. Um, personally, I think he's a crook. <laughs> <laughs> I guess everybody pretty much agrees in that. Uh, he's a neurotic mess, first of all. He, he's so inse he was so insecure and unsure of himself that he had to go to the extent of bugging the Democratic Party. And boggling. I mean, he was so afraid, even though he did have the majority. He was so afraid that he was going to be the minority, that he had to go to that extent. Paranoid, schizophrenic, He's, a real sicko. I mean, look how much he has aged, man. Not even Way Bandy could help him. Oh, hey, there's the bell. I guess it's only a few minutes to go, and it's almost time to end this interview with one of New York's most beautiful girls. I mean, you know, it's, uh, I think you ought to stand up and show them how tall you are. Uh, <laughs> look at this, and, uh, I, you know, I, I think it's time now for BB and I to, uh, go off to and, uh, off to masses. <laughs> exactly, and, uh, it's going to be a good time tonight, and I want you all to watch the career of B.B. Boyle because she's one of the most beautiful girls in the new world. In the world, what about a beauty pageant? Would you, you should go to a beauty pageant. I think beauty pageants are bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> well, gee, what, what do you like? What are you going to do now? Now that it's all over, we finished with Anton's show, and it's out there. We cover, Playboy covers, Cinefold. I'm going to go see my boyfriend. Well, you know, let's all go out together. <laughs> okay, let's okay. go. Okay, all right. Is that it? Bye-bye, darling. <laughs>